Hello and welcome to Kushti TV, Straight Talking YouTube channel. Yes, um, what we're talking about today. Well, um, last time I mentioned um, Joe Budden and Smith having a comeback. Um, it was me playing around with my grandson, you all remember that. But um, I've seriously been asked to make a comeback uh, at the age of 51. Um, you know, we live in an age now where it's uh, all these influencers and YouTubers and stuff and um, old boxers. It's very commonplace. And I've been asked to fight quite a famous person, not usually famous, of a similar age. And I've been asked to make a comeback. And I haven't completely declined, but I said um, I'm going to shuffle forward and let you know in a couple of months um, you know because uh, the reason I say that is you've got to test your body last time I was out that was old enough by many's um, opinion at the age of almost 45 and uh, yeah so that was that was well old enough but that went well and good and I really enjoyed it but um, some six years have moved on um, six or most seven years has, has moved forward. Six years actually, yeah, has moved on. So um, who knows? I took a terrible battering. My body took a terrible battering with COVID. I mean, I recovered nicely, but I don't know what effects that's got. But had some real, real effect on me for over about twelve months. Um, yeah, and secondly, I've just come off of six weeks um, away in the summer holidays um, camping with my family. And um, yeah, so doing a bit of work here and there back, but locally based on the south coast. So very little work, lots of drink and indulgence and food. And I say lots of, not lots of alcohol, but some alcohol, um, but lots of just doing what you want. Fish and chips by the sea, whatever. And um, so uh, I'm not saying completely no to the comeback. And I'm not saying yes, but um, what I need to do, I weighed in at 115 kg earlier this week we're now talking friday um this probably go up tomorrow saturday um and i weighed in 115 kg and i've started doing some training so what i'm going to do i'm going to do some i start reducing my weight and i'm going to take you you at home um who might have a similar problem i carry on some timber yeah um i'm going to take you through reducing weight. I'm going to uh, go and lose two stone. I'm going to take you on a journey and then we're going to assess the comeback after two stones off. So um, if you want to join me and our start, old boys way, maybe not the youngsters, but it's the way I'm going to do it. Burn some fat and we'll talk about it and carry on the journey and we'll see if the comeback is um, possible. But let's get rid of the two stone. Let's see how far I get. Let's see if my body can still do it. So I'd like to take you at home on the journey potentially to the comeback. Certainly some weight loss. Let's see how it goes. Um, here I go, I've got my fat man suit on. Um, the reason I've got my fat man suit on is firstly because I'm fat and secondly it makes me up. In my gym here I've got a sauna and I put that on to keep us warm and to burn fat we need to sweat. Basically if we sweat we're achieving it no matter what we're doing if we sweat we're achieving weight loss. You might not necessarily um, get your heart rate up or nothing, you do certain exercises of course, but you will lose weight just by sweating. Example, um, a lot of the British Asian people, high percentage of them have diabetes because they haven't changed their diet from native India and the sun out there naturally burns calories as where it don't, it's colder in Britain. So you see what I mean, it naturally burns. Now you see um, Spanish people, Spaniards eating lots of salt and um, fatty sausages and salamis and stuff. Of course the sun's really hot, it burns it. So it does burn fat, so we've got to get hot. So um, I've got the fat man suit on, I'm getting some meat in the room. So for you at home you might need a um, it might be an eater. I'm lucky enough to have a sauna um, to help eat the room. But an eater, if you're going to um, come on my journey, or just sit back and watch. Um, yeah, so uh, the fat man's suit, and I'm going to go on the treadmill, but I won't be running. I'm actually going to be literally be walking um, at a fair speed, because um, it's fat burn. Heart rate is another thing from fat burn. All, all boxers, when they come back, um, 
and they have weight to shed, they do lots of slow work. So you burn it slowly. So you can do slowly on the bike, slowly on the but mine's gonna be walking on the treadmill. I'm gonna do a little bit on this um, uh, uh, rowing machine, my cross trainer here, and the bike just beside me. So I'm gonna do 60 minutes walking, and then I wanna do just a five, five, and five. So it'll give me 75 minutes. Um, it probably don't need to apply for you at home, because if you're not boxing, but I will throw my hands around for five or six minutes tonight. That's all shadow boxing. So I will do 75, 80 minutes. None of it will make me out of breath or anything like that. But if I can reduce the weight as I go, and so at that stage when I, I've got to lose two stone, um, 115 will make me 103. I've got to lose over two stone. I've got to, I can't go in a fight any other than 102. I've done that um, on my comeback. I've got down to 102. If you see me, pictures of me around the gym, uh, which Louis has zoomed into back in my day, I could make 100 kilos and I was a bigger body mass then uh, in terms of muscle. So it's going to be an interesting journey if you want to follow me because I'm 51. Can I get rid of the weight? When I get rid of the weight, I never used to lift weights. When you see these pictures over here, lots of muscle, we never lifted weights. Um, we were just very, very strong with all the work we done, push-ups, press-ups, etc, etc. We done, in fact, a slight lie, we done very, very light weights, just plenty of light reps, but never these big dumbbells. I used to work with six kilo weights, so it gives you some idea. Um, but we were lots of muscles, we were very, very fit, very, very strong. Um, so, it's been interesting, uh, even for myself, to attempt this comeback at 51. Um, let's re reduce the fat. When I reduce the fat, I can start taking the heart rate up. And let's see if um, apparently around the age of 50, you stop building muscle, uh, st you stop naturally building muscle. So um, you can rebuild it, I'm told, because I've never lifted weights before really with any predominance. But on this journey, let's do the two stone first, and then we'll start doing some, some sort of weight. We need a flexibility still as a boxer, but that apparently more muscle burns fat. So here's the journey. I'm just going to start off. Um, Louis's going to film me off, and um, yeah, I'm just going to go... Uh, three and a half miles an hour is just a decent sort of walk speed. Yeah, so it's boring, 60 minutes, but I'm going to stick some, mu some music on and my camera girl's going to lead me to it. And um, I'm going to get through it, it's boring, it's not easy in that sense, you've got to train the exercise is quite low and fairly easy enough, but it takes still a bit of concentration to go on a machine for an hour. So a bit of music. And you train your mental stamina as well as your physical. Yeah, so um, here we go. Let's see what happens. I've decided instead of doing 15 minutes on these, I just kept on because it's not really important on uh, what type of training we do. It's just low impact, slow heart rate stuff. So I decided to do 70 minutes. You can see the clock here. I'm just coming up to 71 minutes. The reason I'm doing 71, I had to dive off to have a pee. So I've only done just over four, about four and a quarter miles and it's saying here 310 calories but my daughter's just coming here, my camera girl and uh, she's just said how hot it is from a standing start so that's probably more like 600 calories with the fat man suit on and the temperature that the sauna's throwing out beside me but for you at home if you ain't got the luxury or the room whatever the case may be or a treadmill, somebody wants to follow me, you can do it just as easy walking outdoors, but wrap up like a mummy. So two, three layers of thermals, headwear, don't let any draft in, tight at the wrist, and you can get a good sweat up. That's a brisk walk, not a fast one, a brisk walk at three and a half miles an hour. Um, yeah. So I know all the tricks to fat burn. I've used it on champion boxers, cut them well into weight, nearly out of my weight below almost. They didn't know they could do. So um, I know the tricks of the fat burn. The question is, will my body respond to it? The old 51 year old post COVID beaten body. Can I come back from it? It's gonna be an interesting journey. I'm gonna have fun doing it. All right, a bit more information in case you're following me. If you're not following me, you can maybe just follow my plan. Three days a week, example. On Thursday, I walk seven miles um, on a golf course, quite a tough walk. But that's not included, I'm a golfer anyway. So normal activity, i.e. working in the scrapyard, i.e. golf, normal activity for me. So I'll just start off at three days a week, burning fat, I've just gone up to 70 minutes. Um, yeah, so uh, 
I've been doing 60, I've just gone to 70, so I'm just going to tap down with shadow boxing. And I won't bore you with that because I'm just going to do slow old man's shadow boxing. I'm going to do myself 100 abs. Um, you know, it's just what we do to keep, in case we get one here. Um, yeah, so just be interested to see what happens. You can see what decent sweat I've got on. Um, and I'm drenched under here. Um, yeah, so we're just talking about burning fat. I'll walk around a minute. Um, diet, so again, if somebody's following me, three meals a day. You can snack on fruits. Um, our body goes in little cycles. So what I would recommend, um, after three days, don't be afraid of having a slightly higher calorie meal. So example, seriously, you might, you might be craving a bit of fat. So don't be afraid of having a bit of donut kebab meat after three days. It'll re-kick in your metabolism. It slows a little bit after three, four days. Um, for me, I might have a little midweek snack and a Sunday. Um, Sunday will have a bit of a, a treat day and a rest because if I was pressing the go button, I'd train six days a week with Sunday off. So, um, yeah, that's it really. Um, three meals a day. I refrain from fried food. If you're going to use anything at all fried, make sure it's olive oil, it's a really good fat. So, um, and make sure your, your meals, if you're doing your exercise at night, it's, it's more protein based. Tonight I'm going to have a five egg omelette with a bit of broccoli and uh, mushroom. So I've started with a salad roll, ham salad, nice, nice big brown baguette. Change, that's important, change your uh, white bread for brown bread. It's really important for your nutrition and, and your weight loss. So that's it, um, three meals a day. Um, I'll refrain, I'll have the old can of fizzy drink, not much, but, but it will be diet, um, not sugar free, but I won't do it much, only if I fancy it now and again. Joe Calzaga used to do it, I was quite successful with it, but mostly water. Um, I'm not a monk, and I will have a drink at the weekends, one or two days. Um, this is big for me because I can really, really put on weight. I've had six weeks out, holiday, um, drinking cider and beer, um, just enjoying life really, not to excess as such, not like going out one o'clock in the afternoon, going all day, just seven, eight o'clock with family, a few beers, seven, eight beers, whatever the case may be. But I put my genetics, put on weight really easy. And um, I went on holiday just quickly to, to derail um, on, a, on a six day half board holiday, me and my wife. And um, we literally spent all the time together. I've done a little jog down the pool. We were walking every day on bikes. I come back, I put on 17 pounds. And she said to me, not possible. You haven't had that much, just my genetics. So I can balloon up quite easy, and beer is one of it does it for me. But my drink, and one of the healthiest drinks I've researched, we're gonna have a little drink at the weekend, possibly tomorrow or Sunday for me. Um, wine and soda, dry wine, so like a Sauvignon or something like that. Um, lots of ice, a 50-50 mix with soda water. I can't really take wine at all on its own, I detest it. But it's nice and refreshing, point of soda. With the water, and diluting it, it's one of the healthiest drinks out there for dietary and for feeling good. And if you go out and have a light out, like in my case, I call it a light out, but having a wine and soda, you fancy saying to eat. Refrain from the takeaways, come on, um, couple of granary brown breads, two fried eggs, bit of olive oil won't hurt you, little bit of salt, yeah, and a bite of a banana if you can, potassium. You'll wake up, trust me, zero hangover. So um, that's it, tomorrow uh, Lou's going to include it in this video, tomorrow morning I'm going to weigh in, I weighed in 114.9, almost 115. Um, we'll see how the old man fat body's responding to one week of fairly, fairly good eating to be honest, um, healthy eating, and um, as I say, um, a wine and soda. So uh, as I say, I won't bore you, I'm just going to um, chill out now, just a bit of shadow boxing for five, just to let my hands go, yeah. And um, 100 abs, you know, which I always do in case you take one up the body. And um, let's just keep it progressing. Let's hope you have some fun. Face me when you're ready, yeah? So, week one, 112.4. I went at 14.9. It's two and a half kg loss. Very, very happy with that. Um, it, you lose more in the first week, but I was disciplined, I was consistent, and um, the first road to a potential comeback or at least the weight loss. Um, so follow the journey, I'm happy with that. Two and a half kg and um, thumbs up. Tune in, click and subscribe, tell others and we've got some other fun TV coming and some nice uh, interviews coming up. Okay, in the meantime.